Hi there, Kawa here. This time, we might be going a little too far, but hey, it's Sunday, I have nothing better to do, so I'm going to make a completely random team. Uh, I already put it together already, so I want to show you guys right now. We're going to use Tanzo here, the Izanagi one, and uh, our plan is to kamikaze bomb him into whatever enemy move one there is. Uh, for people who are unfamiliar, his mystery costs 80 chakra, it has a 4 round cooldown and a 1 turn battlefield cooldown. It's like the Reaper Death Seal. It does heavy damage and it cannot miss. And then the, you know, the unit who gets hit by it can't revive. Uh, but the thing about it is that he hits himself too with it, and it's based on his max life. As you can see, my max life is 40k. Uh, I don't know the exact percentage of it, but I would like to believe with my 40k max life, I would either A, chunk a move one, or definitely kill it. Uh, I'm siding more with the kill it, but we'll find out. Uh, so the caveat about this is the fact that he has uh, the passive Izanagi where he'll apply it to himself every single round, and um, it can't be removed, and then, you know, if he would die during that round, he revives with 30 life instead, 30% uh, of his life instead. So he will do this, and then he'll be like half dead because you know he did the mystery. And then, and, you know, if they're somehow still alive, they'll hit him, uh, potentially triggering Izanagi, and he'll come back to life. Uh, nothing special or standard, it's the same one that he has on uh, uh, regular Danzo, where you know he just hits you with a wind blade. Uh, same thing with the chase, nothing special here, it's just the repulse and knockdown and immobile. I don't think that's the name of it on the other Danzo though. It's not flowering trees, I think it's like something in Tombment or something like that, I don't remember. Uh, and then this is more or less the same too, but it triggers three times and I think the other one was triggered six times, but it was only 10%, uh, 10 chakra each time. So. Yeah, it's like a slightly different. I don't remember exactly, but I think yeah, that's what the difference is. And it heals it for ten percent of his life every time. So the idea is that you know you hit somebody with this, and then you recover over time, and then you know you don't die because you have Izanagi. He is definitely not meant to be a position one. Uh, I really don't know what they were intending with him because this mystery costs eighty chakra, and in a natural fight, at best he can only use it two times. Assuming, you know, you generate the chakra for him on round one and have it for round two, he can only use it two times. I have no idea what they were thinking, but uh, we're going to go for it. We're going to see what happens if I hit uh, move once. Can I cripple whole teams by, you know, committing a move one is a Nagitanzo to the job? Because, you know, he can't die. He's not going to die from doing his kamikaze bomb. But I will remove the enemy's move one from the picture, so it becomes a three. It becomes a four v three, with them losing their strongest team member. Uh, also, as you can see with the team, I'm using Edo Daydara. So this Daydara is on my position four. Uh, he's just really here because of Danzo's passive, which generates chakra, uh, and you know he's kind of here for a little bit of help with the DPS because even though he's position 4 his mystery still hurts, his standard still hurts the spiders still help out and yeah, it's overall just good uh, Itachi here is here to help out to make sure that Danzo doesn't like accidentally get CC'd by someone and my whole plan goes out the window and he's also here to help with um, the fight by turning it into more of a 4v2 because I'm going to you know obviously bomb the move 1 and then I'm going to CC the move 2 removing them from the fight and yeah, so as you know, 80 chakra is not easy to come by. Uh, there's only really two mains who can help you get to it. Well, actually it's three. Three mains can get to it for you on round three. Uh, it's water and lightning is the other two. Uh, lightning, you have to do the lightning armor thing and, you know, calm mind. Water, you could do it with uh, the sage mode. But, you know, you'll have to bring the data around like I'm doing here. And, you know, you'll hit the 100% chakra. But with the water main, it's a little more shaky because you don't get the 
uh, protection like uh, your Earthling or something, all the shields and stuff. Also, I don't think you guys really want to see me do water rain all the time. So, I'm here as Robin Dude Earthling, and we're going to blow up some move ones. Hopefully. Like, this. I know that a Reaper Death Seal from a position 2 or 3, from a, you know, a regular Heruzin, can definitely kill a position 1. Uh, I never tried this Donzo before, so I'm not sure if he could pull it off. I would like to think that he can, because um, he's on position 1 now, but it's, you know, it's the difference that this one's actually based on HP, and then the other one is not. Alright, let's see what happens. Ooh, I'm running out of Oh wait, that's not a good thing. I might actually accidentally lose Chakra. Uh, okay. Whoa! 200k? That's a really powerful standard. I actually didn't expect that. Because he also has Root, so he's taking a little bit less. And he has uh, Baldi here too. So he's taking less than what I was expecting. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta be really careful about this because of uh, uh, Sasuke. He might. Do something silly, you know. My chakra. And that's like the last thing I need. Okay, now we're gonna free Daydara. And then we're gonna Kamikaze him. Wow, it didn't kill him! Uh, damn! That kinda sucked. <laughs> well, actually, it didn't crit. So maybe that's the reason. That much damage on a non crit is actually pretty impressive still. Oh, well, wait, I also just realized I didn't select the thing for the same show. Oh, uh, that was slightly my bad. Uh, let's just take him out of commission. Maybe it's because my Danzu doesn't have enough HP? I'm at 40k, but that's uh, kind of low for a uh, position 1 like me. Uh, my position 1, like, especially if I'm like, on water me, she's on uh, roughly... Whoa, that was a 4, 4k heal! Uh, but yeah, uh, she's roughly about close to 47, I think, Kate? Uh, but let me just do this real quick change, because it's based on HP. We're gonna slide him up here and gain a, like another 3k and see what happens. It could be just because he didn't crit and that's why he didn't, you know, one-shot him. Um, I have no idea. I never actually used this unit before. And, you know, people always say he sucks, so I really was just playing around. Uh, what's this here? Is this a Minato? Uh, okay. okay. Two dodgers down. Okay, this person is really good. They might not do this. That was just one swing of Tachi on him. I was supposed to say they, they might not even survive long enough. Because I think this, yeah, this Minato's just gonna die. That was an 18k crit. <laughs> gonna die there. Um, two spiders blowing up his 80, so. I don't even gotta use the Earth Bane. Oh, wait. No, I do. Damn. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I forgot Danzo triggered already three times. Whoops! Uh, it's fine. Uh, this clone dying will give it to me. Alright, let's go! Undodgeable! I think my eyes 
kind of deceived me there. Was that a hundred k? It went by really quick. I, it looked like it was a hundred k to me. All right, maybe we could try it again. Uh, 250k. Okay. Uh, Hiruzen? Sure. Right. Oh, whoops. I was a little slow on that one. But this time, I think I keep forgetting to take this because uh, I recently set it up so that it was uh, passively always on my first slot to attack uh, line up on but uh, I have gotten too used to it and I keep forgetting to press it. So maybe it actually does more damage than I thought. We'll find out. We're, we're going to find out how much it actually does. Let's go! That was 65k. 65k kills almost anything. <laughs> On a person who's 250k, so their move one is really strong already, so... 65k is no joke. So we at least confirmed two things. It's about... It was what, 20k the first time? When it was a non-crit? And then it's a... 60... I, I, I could swear to god it was 100k before, but I can't confirm that right now. Uh, but on someone decently strong, it is a 65k, and my Donzo here is only plus 3 red, um, I, I, never, I didn't get a chance to finish him, and he also has no mood. He has 5%, I, I, did, I gave him a Dango. <laughs> That's all I gave him. Uh, <laughs> Nice chase, I'll give them that. It's a very nice chase. The no real issue with the team either. But sadly, I won't have to kill them. Uh, I just blow up uh, with toe. I mean, I mean the toe. Let's go, come cozy. Wait, that definitely was 107. That one I saw really clear. But, uh, um, my enemy is clearly weaker than me. By it uh, at least two times, so um, not really uh, reliable sources, but hey, it's still fun. I I really think that he should be able to one shot any um, opposing position ones, but you know you have to jump through that hoop to make it happen. It costs eighty chunk. You're gonna explode. Here. Why does everyone like to go with my Tidara? He's position 4, why do you feel going after him? So, I would just say this team is like super outdated these days. Uh, the, 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 the triple dodge, um, Minato mask is kind of outdated these days. Because the crux of this team is the, uh, the fireman. If the fireman gets caught in the NECC, you can't um, complete a chase. Oh, shoot. Um, this is why we have Daydara. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, Wait a minute, I didn't reflect something back at him? Ugh, whatever.
Um, and I can't wake him up, so <laughs> nothing I can do about that. Oh, whoops! Did I just queue into that right now? I think I did. Yeah, I queued into that back accident. No, Donzo, wake up! And this is the main reason I hate fighting fire mains. I know people like to always say they're not OP. They're not OP. They're just annoying. They're just like very, very annoying me. Right, come up. Blow this mess, man. <laughs> and it's nice that he heals himself by a lot. He heals himself about 5k every time something dies. So he chunks himself, and then, you know, he has a turn where he has Izanagi active. And then he spends, um, and he, you know, he gets like two heals off my spiders. It's a, it's a cute date way to handle the problem. Uh, I don't really do anything because this shark might just... Pass? Mark? It's not, so... Dang it. So I take you out? Uh... There's still a Yamato. I should not... No, oh, not yet, because he's dead. So Donzo did lose his shield, so he does probably a little less. Actually, I'm not even sure this is mystery, like, scale off, um, you know, like, buffs, like, you know, barriers and stuff, because I think it just does a set amount. Because it does based on one's maximum health. <laughs> Under 40. But it's also nice, you know, he heals himself after he does it. Because, you know, he, he, he chunks himself, then he kills the target, giving him back 10% of his life. Ooh! Oh, wait. Yeah, be careful. There's a touch here. No reflex, though. No reflex. There goes the reflex. Uh, I'm gonna take the priority and shut down the Hachi, and I'm gonna give myself some chakra. I'm gonna go and kamikaze bomb this Naruto. <laughs> 84k. I'm thinking if this team will work if I pick like win me. Because then the crux where of the problem is, you know, where you get your chakra, and it's gonna probably have to come from um, your team chasing. It's not that hard, because I do wanna see if I can 
uh, do dance impetus with it and just uh, do it twice in a row. Uh, no. Oh, wait, no, there's a mirror. Oh, wait, no. No, I don't need <laughs> You just, uh, it's like, oh. Almost, uh, screwed that one up. Oh, damn it. Uh, actually, no. Maybe these spiders kill him. Actually, no, I still don't get enough. Damn it! Oh, man. Yes. Wow! It's impressive! To be able to crit my position 1 at 200k is very impressive. See, I think their crit is, can't be that high. Uh, uh, yeah, curating this one's nothing special. Like, but creating my position 1 is very impressive. That's fine. I'm bound to get out of this eventually. Like, right now. Oh, well, uh, it's round four. Uh, I naturally get the 80 chakra I'm looking for. And it's time to kill some people. 72k? No complaint. I find it really interesting. His standard hits so hard. Uh, I could have prevented that, but I'm gonna attack here and just kill. But very impressive feat to be able to crit my position one while weaker than me by this much. Very impressive. here? I just clicked somebody. Who's this? Oh. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, let's see where Hiruzen goes. Ouch. Oh, he doesn't have a double attack, so I think we're good. So, Shadow Blade is stronger than me. I wonder if Danzo can kill him. This will be interesting to see. Onward, Donzo! Can you do 39k? <laughs> no, only 24. Damn it. Oh, well. It was worth a try. Oh, he's still alive. Even if he really hits him. Oh, I can't say the same for Dead Day Darado. <laughs> Oof. 
<laughs> it's just like, oh, that's so painful right now. But he, I think he's gonna heal because the sword is gonna die. Oh, he didn't die. Um, kill Danzo? So you trigger his Zanadi for me? We just need to kill this person. Once he's dead, we're fine. But, you know, killing him right now is an issue. Alright, we're just gonna go after the fire me. Because this Ruzan can't move anyways. Wow, Donzo, you don't crit for crap. <laughs> I guess someone's stronger. Oh, also, I guess I was kind of wrong on that. You do three times because I get one more try at it on round 10. Oh, he uses this as Nagi. I'm still saying, wait, what? How did he die? <laughs> Forgot it's a Nagi is a one time deal. Oh man, he I just kinda needed a crit <laughs> one of those. He got really close to killing that Hiruzen. And then he didn't crit uh Shadow's main, so couldn't kill. <laughs> I'm just gonna give myself shields again. I feel like it's mystery to have a cooler animation. The animation kind of sucks, but uh, kind of it wasn't really that impressive in the anime anyways, so I, I guess kind of makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm still second. It didn't matter that I ran into Shadow. <laughs> it's, it's still not that easy to catch me, even though, you know, I'm not killing super fast, because no one else is really able to keep up with my pace like that. See, even Jushin couldn't keep up with me. It wasn't even like I was killing fast. I even ran into Shadow and lost. This, this is one of those reasons why I don't play the Hiruzen team, because there's no need to. Like, unless I'm really trying to take first place, there's no reason for me to uh, play the Hiruzen team. So, this experiment uh, kind of worked, it kind of didn't. We know that it can hit um, some ridiculous numbers, and it's not exactly based on its 100%. Like, I don't even know what the ratio is. It's like a ratio of his life times um, a percentage to do damage like uh, don't know what the exact math is but uh, I feel like if he crits he can 100% like knock out any position one 
as you can see, uh, even without a crit, I almost killed a uh, stronger Hiruzen. So if he was able to crit, he would have definitely knocked out the Hiruzen. But you know, uh, my injury stat is not that high. <laughs> uh, it, well, it's it's high, but it's not uh, high enough to guarantee that I crit all the time against another strong position one. But more or less, the experiment was pretty decent. Uh, this unit still sucks, though. Don't you know? Don't watch this video and think that he's actually decent. He just, he's not. He is crap. <laughs> I just wanted to test out the uh, <laughs> how much damage this thing does. Alright guys, uh, that should be it. Uh, so yeah, till the next video guys. Have fun.